Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We've got a couple interesting science stories to hit today. Solar storm impacts, declining solar magnetic fields, and the grand solar minimum. Very odd, but cool story about human behavior as well. We'll peak at seismicity, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Still relatively quiet at least until a few hours ago. The coronal hole is directly facing Earth today, but my next few hours will be spent determining if this solar flare, which reached almost M8 class, released a CME. It looks like the answer is, well, maybe. Solid pop. We'll be sure to be sure about that before we speak again. And if there was a CME, it would be directly aimed at the Earth. Hopefully the remaining filaments stay a bit more stable than this one here at the northern polar crown. Greek seismic swarm is continuing, going a bit harder now actually. Really hate to do this, but if you live within the blast zone of Santorini, maybe just take a vacation, go visit mom, something. At least until this uptick swarm dies down a bit. Up next, this is wild, and I wonder if there's more to it than a notable curiosity. Humans in large groups tend to begin forming little vortices. This is the same thing that happens in liquids and plasmas and electrical activity in the heart. Cool that the scientists noticed this, but I'm not sure they have the first clue what they're actually seeing. Excellent paper up next, seeing detailed information on how the solar storm dynamics disrupt and interfere with GNSS and GPS capabilities. That connection has been observed and known for a long time, but now they're actually watching the disruptive activity taking place from magnetospheric impact to ionospheric currents. Lastly, folks, top solar scientists looking at the long-term declining magnetic field of the sun. We've gone over this for years. We've discussed the grand solar minimum potential. This group is suggesting we may still get the grand solar minimum in the next one or two solar cycles. We will be awaiting the solar polar fields data from the next two years before making an official forecast. Folks, if you didn't check out the testing pages we released for ObserverBot on X, formerly Twitter yesterday, this thing is good genius level public deployment hopefully in the next two weeks major events upcoming at observer ranch pole shift conference opening weekend with dr robitaille kings of catastrophe with dr dunning in early may stop procrastinating pick a time to come see us at observerranch.com we greatly appreciate your support we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now at 6 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe, everyone.